One thing I can tell you is, I have never driven in mountain snow like that in my life. Look at this. So today I'm at the base of Mount Washington in New Hampshire. It's about three and a half hours northwest of Boston. The Mount Washington Observatory offers an overnight program that allows regular folks like me to experience what is widely regarded as some of the worst weather in the world. All right, this is the snow cat taking us up to the top. Guys, so I answered the right weather question, and guess where I'm at? Right there. <laughs> right. Just to experience above the tree line. Eighty mile per hour winds gusts the last twenty four hours up to one hundred and four. Here's what it's about. Insane. So Mount Washington tops out at sixty two eighty eight feet. It's located in the White Mountains, and the weather here is insane, mostly due to the mountain chain's north-south orientation. The jet stream winds carry storms eastward, and this is a common area where different air masses collide. And this mound of dirt and stone are frequently in the center of that weather bullseye. Well, power. But luckily we didn't have to get away with <laughs> from a, a shelter because we have 140 mile. That uh, weather information is gathered by the observers. It's basically sent out to the National Weather Service every single So now you want extreme weather, imagine a recorded 231 mile per hour wind speed. It's one of the top non-hurricane wind speeds ever recorded on Earth. They have wind chill values up here of like minus 100 plus degrees. Snowfall, they get about 24 feet per year. And they've had a four foot record snowfall in 24 hours. Their average high is about 34 degrees and the average low is 20. So you have colder air here that's circulating around the storm system. These clouds here. These are the tools to break the ice off of the instruments. Look at that mallet. <laughs> a couple hours makes now we have an inversion it's minus six at the top of the mountain and minus 11 at the bottom so the temperatures are actually warmer aloft than they are at the surface that's because the cold air sinks down in the valleys in the evening right now the winds are down to a, a calm 29.7 remember yesterday we had winds exceeding 104 miles per hour in a gust now the 24 hour max gust is 96 miles per hour. Wind speed right now, again, 29.7 or 30. The wind chill is minus 34 degrees. So pretty calm morning comparative to what we experienced yesterday. sunrise which is incredible uh, behind me but more importantly the moon set which is over here <laughs> incredible. this is the belt of Venus the orange and pink that's the sun behind me putting its shadows on the earth the horizon you can see the shadow of the mountain right there 
So when you head out to hike in this kind of weather, you have to put on micro spikes. So these are just this contraption. Basically you put it on your feet and then the spikes on the bottom give you traction in the ice and snow. So we're gonna head out and walk around the top of the mountain. Oh. Well, the trip has come to an end and I'm telling you, it was incredible. The things that we witnessed and the chances for it all to come together was amazing. First of all, we had a perfect ride up in that beautiful snow cat. Then we saw winds 104 miles per hour, rime ice the size of Texas, the belt of Venus, the mountain shadow, a full moon setting simultaneously with the sunrise on a crystal clear morning, and then a lenticular cloud that spun its magic overhead before the mountain cap rolled in. And finally, a fantastic trip back down the mountain with a fantastic group of people, engineers, aeronautical engineers, an anesthesiologist, an actor, bird lover, science geeks, and of course, the token weather guy. An incredible, incredible adventure on the top of Mount Washington.